Hi folks, today we're taking a look at using external hardware and uh, reamping. Sometimes you want to use external uh, processors or like uh, compressors or reamping guitars or uh, things like that. And this is one part of Reaper uh, that I've had all sorts of trouble uh, getting right. Just one of those things I guess where uh, some aspects of the software is a uh, a bit hard to figure out without uh, diving into uh, manuals and uh, other ailments. What I'm going to be doing uh, in this video is uh, reamping, but the process uh, works pretty much the same way um, for uh, other external hardware. I've got a DI guitar track that I recorded, and I'm going to be reamping that using my uh, Kemper. <laughs> Sounds like a DI guitar. Now, before we uh, jump into uh, the setup for this, it needs to be mentioned that to do this, you need a sound card or interface that has more than uh, two outputs. If you're planning on getting a stereo signal, you need four, such as um, if you got a bus compressor or a uh, similar uh, gear. And for this, Example, I have uh, my Kemper hooked up uh, via SPDIF, which as most people will know is a digital um, connection. First thing we'll need to do is add another track to our Reaper uh, project. And this track will essentially be acting as an aux bus. So we'll need to send the DI track to that uh, new track. If you're not familiar with Reaper, Left click and drag. The only thing we'll need to change is uh, set the sun to pre fader. This means we can turn down the fader on the first track so we don't have to listen to uh, the DI itself. <laughs> It works fine. Next step uh, then is adding the re-insert uh, uh, plugin. Once this open, we'll need to find the right to send and return uh, channels. On my interface, uh, the send for the digital uh, SPDIF is a uh, seven. And as it's a mono signal, there's no need to um, choose anything for the right uh, channel here. Normally, I would uh, record only a mono signal, but I'll do a stereo one for now. Make sure you have an automatic device latency adjustment uh, ticked, so it will um, eventually line up uh, with your DI track. And do the ping detect. Smart to do uh, in case there are uh, some discrepancies when it comes to uh, reporting uh, latency. In this case, no issues at all. Be sure to um, name your track before you're recording anything. And now, the most important setting here is you want to recall the output of this channel, meaning uh, the reinsert uh, plugin. And go into the menu here and choose Record Output Latency Compensated. In this case, it will be a stereo track. And once you have the setup, just record. <laughs>
and there it's recorded. An arm, and then just uh, remove the plugin and uh, the routing. Hope you found this uh, helpful. I'll be back with uh, plenty more videos in the time to come. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. Click that bell so you get notified when I have new videos up. Have a great weekend. <laughs>